Global Cohesion to Reduce Greenhouse Gas Emissions, members of the Nigerian Institute of Quantity Surveyors are championing a new campaign for sustainable development in the construction sector. For the Institute, gaining into the new climate order and the resolutions of COP26 will help to achieve growth amidst declining economic resources through the development of sustainable infrastructure. The intensity per square meter of the global building sector needs to improve on average by 30% by 2030 in order to be in line with global climate ambitions set out in the Paris Agreement. Therefore, buildings and construction sector should be a primary target for greenhouse emissions mitigation strategy. And for the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Mohamed Bello, maintaining the tempo of Nigeria's commitment to zero gas emission by 2060 is one that the government must uphold. The development of the FCT is still very much a work in progress, and we remain committed to the provision of world-class infrastructure and facilities in the territory. We no doubt stand to benefit immensely from the recommendations that will emanate from this conference and we await with great anticipation for its outcome. While also adhering to environmental sustainability, the Minister of Works and Housing says the ethos of climatology will help accelerate the instruments in the manufacturing industry to power development. The above challenges require development of sustainable infrastructure like roads, bridges, railways, seaports, airports, power plants, dams, and so on. The continuous and consistent commitment to invest in infrastructural development will drive economic growth in Nigeria and elsewhere in the world. Similarly, it is the investment in manufacturing and services that will catalyze and promote sound economic development empower our people by providing good jobs, which will enable them to purchase local goods and services, by extension, raise their standard of living, and also curb insecurity. With the nation's quest to eradicate the incidence of building collapse and the application of climatology to drive sustainable development, experts say Nigeria may be able to find solutions to poor infrastructural and construction defects in the country if the resolutions are implemented. Christian Ogodo, Arise News.